Welcome to Amazing World, I'm Luna. Today, we explore a future that stirs both hope and controversy. A world where babies might be born without any inherited diseases. For centuries, humanity accepted that our genetic destiny was written in stone. But what if we could rewrite it? The revolution began with CRISPR, a powerful gene editing tool that allows scientists to cut and modify DNA with unprecedented precision. Originally discovered as a bacterial defense system, CRISPR has since become the scalpel of modern genetics. Today, it's being tested to correct mutations that cause conditions like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. In top research centers around the world, embryos are already being screened for genetic diseases. This process, known as pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, allows doctors to select healthy embryos during in vitro fertilization. But that's just the beginning. The next step is not just choosing the healthiest embryo, but actively repairing or enhancing it. Parents of the future might soon visit genetic clinics not just to conceive, but to ensure their child is free from inherited illness. And perhaps, one day, to select traits like intelligence, athletic ability, or even eye color. But here lies the great ethical dilemma. Is it right to engineer life before it begins? While preventing suffering from genetic disorders feels noble, where do we draw the line? Could designer babies deepen social inequality or open the door to eugenics? Proponents argue that we're already editing nature with medicine, surgery, and education. Why not with genetics? If we can eliminate debilitating diseases from future generations, wouldn't that be one of the greatest humanitarian achievements of all time? In the coming decades, artificial intelligence will likely play a major role in analyzing and editing genes. With enough data, AI could identify complex gene patterns linked to chronic illnesses or even mental health conditions, and suggest safe, effective edits. If handled responsibly, genetic technology could lead to a society where everyone begins life with the same biological chances. No more children born with painful disorders. No more silent battles with hidden mutations. Just health and potential for all. But the power to edit life must come with deep wisdom. Regulation, transparency, and public dialogue are essential. We must ask not just what we can do, but what we should do. Because the choices we make now will shape the very nature of humanity. The future of birth might be one of health, choice, and progress. Or it might carry risks we can't yet predict. But if we walk this path with care, courage, and compassion, the next generation may inherit not just our genes, but our greatest hopes.